it's been a long time coming, but we, we are gonna try a product review today. Let's do this. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, that was actually perfect. All right, so this is, this one's cute. This one's big. <clears throat> As it like falls out. I'm really impressed! This is super cute though. It's blurry. I'll try to get some other photo, video, photo, whatever. So it's, it's Nene, and I'm going to say, Amine, he doesn't have the thing on his cheek. So Amine, this is cute though. She's got leg warmers. That's cute. I don't care if this is fan art. This is adorable. I like this one. I'm trying to figure out what he's holding. Something. <laughs> My camera won't focus. Yeah, auto focus. Whatever. All right, next up, out of that one. Oh, we have another single. Yay! Ta-da! This is super cute. Hold on. There we go. Ta-da! This is super cute. Look at them. Actually, this is backwards. <laughs> it's unboxing gore. I'll just lean over here. Take this out. On camera. Does it reverse? Oops. Well, there was that piece, but I don't know what this is. Okay. Oh, so you do reverse the image. Oh, so he does have the thing on the right side. Oh, they're so cute. I was looking at the back side. But the colors are nice and vibrant and bright. Somebody's gonna be mad. I'll do a separate video peeling the stickers off, I guess. I don't know. Is that a thing people want to see? Oh, it's the whole punch out. You know what? That's what it is. It's this piece, isn't it? Yeah. It's that piece. Ta-da! Okay. <clears throat> I suck at this. I'm just like, it's a product! It's a thing! <laughs> Alright, there's... Ta-da! This is so cute. I'm not used to the fish art yet. I'm gonna... Blurry in the background. But then, it's also... Nene's little... Fish art. She's got such an awkward looking little fish, and yet it's such a Nene fish. I like these. These are huge, like, hand. <laughs> I like these, though. These are pretty awesome. Those are gonna look cool on my desk. I love these. These are great. This is my very first time with acrylics, as I probably have already said. Oh, here's another twofer. This is gonna be a lot of just twofer, kind of. Uh, I don't know which side's the right side. It's backwards because of the film. But then we'd be seeing this, so I know. It's backwards. Everything's printed on the right side. These are so cute. I'm trying to figure out if it's snowballs. Does he have, like, little balls of snow? They've got some snowballs. These are cute. I don't know what this is from. I recognize the art. So no, it's not fan art. But these are adorable. Look at these. The little keychains. I love them. Alright, um, I'm gonna do... Alright, so this is definitely fan art. This is a huge one. My gosh, like... That is a huge... Look at this style, though. This is really pretty. It's got such a unique- she's got such a unique design, and I love all the little ruffles and stuff. It's beautifully drawn. I really like that. And then to go with her, because this is, like, the theme. Look at him. I love this. This is cool. I love the flowing sleeves and stuff, and with the, the Japanese style. Just looks so cool. Look at them. Now kiss. Okay, so there's this. Set that down. This is cute. Isn't this like the profile picture on the wiki page? I think. It's a cute fun style. He reminds me of a frog here for some reason. Just that stand. And then the matching Nene to go with him. So... These are cute. Oh, the little black hearts are on the same side. I ship it. So, she's cute. 
But both of them are cute. I like this. This is this is fun. The amount of shippy, shippy, shippy art. Uh, okay. I haven't dug these out, but this is another another two for two for one. How many people am I gonna trigger by saying two for instead of two for? But I think that's the right way. Is this the right way? I can tell on Hanako. Hold on. Let me let me unwrap, unbox. There. So that's the right side. So this is, I think, how they go. Just with the plastic cover on it still, which then they wouldn't be wrinkly, but I like this style. It's kind of got just this old charm to it. I love the the toys in the stuff. He's got the pinwheel. And then I like that Nene's is almost like she's a little bit more grown up. She's got the broom. These are cute. I like these. This is my review on every single one. 10 out of 10. I love them. <laughs> All right. We're winding down here on the, the first box. I'm trying not to take too long because there's going to be a lot of stuff like cut and pasted together. So here's another one that's wrapped. So here's what I think is interesting about these that I noticed. I didn't notice this on any of the other ones. I'll just pop this out. Because it's got... Let's see. Ah, oh, here we go. But it's actually got the Square Enix like copyright on there, so this feels really official. It's also backwards. <laughs> I know what I'm doing this entire time, just giving a review and it's backwards. Hey, look! This is cute. I love... I'm just gonna pop the base off for now. I love her posture and that she's sitting. That's a really cute one then for a stand. And then... I won't show you this stand on that one because it really doesn't matter, but then we have Hanako. So what I love is that then you put them together and it's like he's telling her stuff and she's listening. This is cute! This is adorable! Look at these two! I love that. A little mischievous imp. It's like he's telling her some kind of secret and she's horrified to know. That is- I like that. What's fun is that really does have like a very official feel to it and even the uh, stands are they have a plastic wrap over them, so that feels really well done. Okay, now this is this this is this is a special one. Blurry. <laughs> I'll hold it up though, so it's more hopefully in focus with the camera. So this is from the Phantom. Jewel Thief, I think. This thing is huge. Like, top of the thing, bottom. That is a huge one. I think this one is reproduction, like a fan-made one. I don't care. I love this. I love Mitsuba and Ko. And I love Hanako's expression. And Nene's just kind of there like, I get caught in the middle of the weirdest stuff. I love this. Oh my gosh, also the illustration, the tiny illustration of what Hanukkah is supposed to look like. I love this. This is amazing. This is a fun one. I'm gonna, that might stay on my work desk, like, just hanging out out here. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna say reproduction, because I could be mistaken, but, well, you know what, let's just see. We're here for it. Yeah, it's just a sticker on the back. So that's what the base for some of these looks like. It's a reproduction, but you know what? That's okay. Because I love it. And now this is this is the reason, this is probably the reason I only bought this box and this box alone. It's the Phantom of the Opera. Hanako of the Opera standees. So there's Hanako and Nene is the Phantom and Christine, respectively. And actually hers goes this way, I forgot. 
So height-wise, she's a little bit off scale from him. They're not the exact same scale, because if you hold them up, then he's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. I freaking love the Phantom of the Opera. Let me tell you. These are really awesome. The fun thing is, I'm actually really excited about this. So Nene's got the base plate for hers. Hanako doesn't. This was, I knew this when I bought this, is that he didn't have his base stand or whatever. But I figure it's time to employ the employee. <laughs> it's time to employ the 3D printer. And I think I'll just print him a little base stand. So can't be that hard to design. So the bag is like split up the side. But that's, that's Hanako. Gosh, I love this AU so much. I was so excited when they, uh, when I found that out that they had done that, so. More out of the box later. I think that's it from that, oh no, that's not it from that package, folks. Whatever. Ta-da! Alright, this one, this one, haha, <laughs> I am excited about. And I'm aware it's blurry in the background, but that's okay. We'll just make quick work of this. This is the... I believe it was kind of like a collaboration cafe situation. So I'm gonna just put the stands aside for the moment. So we've got <laughs> Itty Bitty Mitsuba. Nobody ever talks about it. He's wearing a crop top. That's killing me. So little Itty Bitty Mitsuba. We have little tiny Tsukasa. I love these outfits. I love the art. It's so vibrant. It is so cute. We have Beach Moke. My mom was like, I love that Moke. Like, I know, this is the cutest design. We've got Ko. Look at how cute he is. He's so adorable. Love him. We have Nene, little seashells on her shoes. She is so cute. These are tiny, but I love it. And then, best boy Hanako. He just looks so cute. Like they did a good job. I love the the Yugi twins. I I don't know. My favorite. My favorite might just be Mitsuba though. He is so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So it took probably close to an hour to peel off everything, but here we here we are. Finally! Ta -da -da! I'd set them down, but then I mean stand. But up close, just a little bit. Another like quick peek now that they're So there's Hanako. And then we got Nene out of the package. The colors are so much more vibrant. I love that about these. They look so cool. I think I'm discovering a love for the acrylics. I will just set them off to the side. We'll just amass a tiny collection over there. Right out of frame, just to annoy everyone. So we got... <laughs> so cute. Love that. These are really fun. I love the artwork. I know some of these are like reproduction or fan ones, but you know what? They are really, really cool. I'll try to do two at a time. Ah, nope. Maybe. Ta-da! Just the colors look a lot better, and they're out of the packaging now, which is nice, so, like, nailed it. So we got these guys. These look- these are cool, because these were in the, the one package, it was hard to tell. I think that's the right way. Yeah, this is- this is the right way. I love the inclusion of the, uh, the little skull brooch. That is so cute. I guess I could like leave her in frame maybe? I don't know. How do, how does one 
review the products. Here we go. The colors are really light on these, even in person, but they're really cool. It gives it a very vintage feel. So, I love all the little toys. I know I said that before, but it's just so cute. I'm just going to slowly mask them in frame. <laughs> this one looks super cute. Love the mokeh in the pocket. These are just adorable. And I really am impressed. Like, peeling off the, the stickers, the protective layer, they look cool. They genuinely look really cool. They've got a nice vibrancy to them. Uh, the shine on them, I mean, you can see the you can see the light overhead. That's just really neat. Uh, what do we have next? Oh, we've got this one. I love this. So I realized it's like headphones. Because she's got one headphone in and he's holding the other one. And that's in his pocket. So the, when, I, when I said earlier, like, what is he holding? It's headphones. It's so cute! Leg warmers. I don't know, this one... This one's actually probably a favorite of mine. It's just so cute. She looks so cozy. He just kind of looks... He's just hanging out. I don't know. It's precious. They're adorable. Save the tiny toilet children. So we got these. These look nice. I don't think I'm gonna use them as keychains because I'm worried they're gonna get all scratched up. So I think I'll just hang them on my wall for now. Keep them nice, keep them neat, keep them looking good. I'll do these one at a time just because. So we got out of the box bag, whatever. Nay nay, she looks so cute. As Christine from The Phantom of the Opera, I love this. She's fun. And then we have... He looks really good too. So I still need to print a base plate. I haven't haven't done that yet. I've been busy with work this week, but yeah, he, I don't know, I just... He looks really good. There, I can do a little bit close, closer up shots. I love the Phantom of the Opera AU. I wish there was more, like, comics and stuff. We got this one. All of the little details are just fantastic. I love that they included, you can see a little bit better on my hand, the, the border. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see it now. The border around the edge. Everything about this is just super fun. And then with the stand. Little tiny Mitsuba. So that's cute. We got little Ko. His stand is kind of cute too. I know we saw these without the, because these didn't have the plastics on the covering on them anyway, but that's okay. Now they've got the base stand. <laughs> Little tiny Sukasa. Really like, I really like him. Not as a character, well, as a character that's up for debate, but I love his acrylic, this little one, because he just looks so cute and surprised. And then we've got Nene again on her stand. I love the little tiny, the tiny fish. That's so, so her. And then last but not least, out of that batch, got Hanako. I love how his looks like a uh, one of those like life rings. So it's got the it's got the stripes going this way and the stripes going this way. I like that about his. That's really cute. So there we have it. Everyone's unboxed. <laughs> There's so many of them. But they are really, really neat. So, these were fun. Will I get more in the future? 
absolutely. There's characters I'd love to find um, that for the moment I haven't been able to find, but you know what? Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll be able to track them down, which would be cool. So these are the troubled toilet children. Joke's on you, we aren't done yet. Ha! I actually forgot there were two extras. So the person who sent the um, the box of these that weren't the little, that weren't these, it was the other lot that was most of this stuff, um, sent extras. So that was super sweet. So. Ta-da! I like the shape. This is a really unique one. And then this one too. These are really neat. I'm not familiar with the series at all, but I love the artwork. That also is a 10 out of 10. Hi, Wubs! Hi, bud! Hi! <laughs> he approves.